We are expecting heavier traffic on major highways and local roads due to the holiday travel, which is why joining us right here on the Splash Live, we have West Bloomfield Police Chief Mike Patton joining us on the Splash. And uh, Chief, if you don't mind, first and foremost, just kind of answering the question, how does the police department actually prepare for the increased uh, traffic on the roads during holiday seasons? Well, Kevin, thanks for inviting me on this morning. Um, look, I, I think in any holiday period, there's going to be a lot of increased traffic. So over this upcoming holiday uh, uh, weekend and extended week, uh, there'll be increased traffic, particularly on their major roads. Now, because West Bloomfield does not have any major thoroughfares, like a freeway coming through it, we're now probably see it as bad as some other neighboring communities will. Uh, I think you should plan ahead for your travel. Consider that there are a number of road uh, construction projects going on throughout the state, whether that would cause you to alter your route or at least uh, uh, to, uh, cause you to uh, uh, add some additional time to your travel plans. That's always right. good and prudent planning right. for travel. Great, great information, great oversight in general. Yes, we, we may not have any of the major highways going through, but nonetheless, a lot of people are still going to be moving going to different places and doing a lot of different things. It's going to be a lot of moving parts. We know that uh, uh, on on water, there's something going on called Oper Operation Dry Water, where they're trying to uh, discourage intoxicated driving. Are there any campaigns or initiatives that your department has going on to kind of ensure safe driving for over the holiday weekend as well? Well, look, we're always very mindful of any kind of intoxicated driving, whether it be on the highways or the waterways. Again, many of the lakes are patrolled here in Oakland County by the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, and they'll have uh, in, uh, Marine mm -hmm. patrols out during this holiday period. Uh, it's very important that uh, uh, drivers or operators of boats or Marine uh, watercraft are very mindful of their roles and responsibilities as the operators of motor vehicles or watercraft uh, during these holiday mm -hmm. seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, we want everyone to have a good time, but we want everyone to operate safely. Absolutely. And I always say that's key. We want to talk to you, not about you. So make sure that you are in, uh, ensuring safety and precautions all around the board. And joining us right here on the Splash Live, West Bloomfield Police Chief Mike Patton talking about safe holiday travels this weekend. Um, and, and if you don't mind, I want to kind of ask you, um, I know certain events and even certain areas may require heavier police presence than others, specifically even during the holiday uh, time that we're experiencing. Are there any specific local events or areas that will have increased police presence that you don't mind telling us about? Well, a number of the area lakes associations and country clubs over this upcoming week and really beyond will be having their uh, approved annual fireworks events. So police and fire, uh, fire marshal uh, representatives at those events. Uh, there aren't any really uh, significant events going on over this uh, holiday weekend that's coming up, but we're always very mindful of that. Families will be getting together. Those have increased uh, uh, potential for concerns with all the family gets together sometimes during the holidays. But as far as uh, public events right. going on, other than the area fireworks events, those are the only ones coming up to this uh, holiday period. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Because I know it's essentially – with the different events that's going on, especially depending on the time in the area, there could be some type of changing to the roads and things of like any significant road closures or detours that the community should be aware of over the weekend. No, but I just encourage people as a broader metro area here, they can check the uh, uh, MDOT website for road closures or events. A lot of times the uh, road construction crews will take a brief hiatus during a holiday period to allow for increased traffic flow, but that's not always possible during all construction projects. So plan ahead, look at your route, check the MDOT site to see if there's any road closures or construction projects that, that could hinder your travel plans. Right, right, right. Are there any, uh, we're, we're all pretty much praying that we're going to get great weather over this holiday weekend. But in the instance that we don't, considering it is the summer, we, we can get storms. Are there any weather related preparation that your department is going through to kind of handle those situations? Well, we just like we monitor everything that goes on in our little world here in West Bloomfield, uh, individual uh, uh, homeowners or residents, they can also keep, always keep an eye to the sky. For if there's going to be any kind of inclement weather that could hinder their holiday or uh, event plans. Uh, one of the things we always recommend that residents do is to buy what's called a NOAA radio, N-O-A-A radio. 
and keep and set it up inside mm. their home to allow them to get emergency weather alerts. You can program those radios to the uh, specifications that you want, what kind of uh, warnings that you want. But those would set off an alarm within your home if there's a weather alarm, a tornado warning or watch coming up or other severe storm warning that you or she, they may have to take shelter or alter your plans because of that weather. Mm, good point. Good point. That's the type of stuff you don't necessarily think about until it, something happens. You want to react to it or until you're notified in advance by someone like yourself. And join us right here on the Splash West Bloomfield Police Chief Mike Patton. Join us talking about traveling safety during the holiday and other different safety and security tips. Now, are there any specific provisions in place for anyone looking to access emergency services during the holiday? Well, we always have, a, obviously, we're a 24-7 service provider, um, police, fire, EMS. If there's really a true emergency here in West Bloomfield, we need police, fire, or EMS, you can call 911. If there's a lesser uh, mm -hmm. nature of a problem or concern that you have, you can call our general business number. Uh, West Bloomfield Police Department dispatches for the also very fine Orchard Lake, Cuba Harbor, or Silver Lake Police Departments. The West Bloomfield Fire Department is their fire and EMS service provider for all four communities. But look, if there's ever a doubt, mm. you've heard me say this before, Kevin, I would rather have us, and I'm sure the other three cities, police chiefs would say the same thing. We'd rather come out on 99 false alarms than not be there the one time that we should be. So don't set the Ooh. bar too high if you have a concern that's going on in your home or your neighborhood. We'd rather come out and check it out just to be sure. That's very reassuring to hear from you, Chief, to be honest with you. It just lets us know our police department, it will be there to respond to whatever is necessary. Just make sure if you see something, say something. That way we can be uh, on top of things as soon as possible. Um, so uh, real quick, what about responses to fireworks and fireworks safety? Just, just touching on that real quick. What role does the police department play on that? As we know, the fire department responds to the actual fires in certain situations. What role does the police department play on those? Well, we have a very specific ordinances regarding the state fireworks laws. They essentially mirror what the state laws are, but only approved consumer grade fireworks can be used from appropriate time. Uh, this upcoming uh, holiday weekend, because the July uh, 5th ends up being on a Friday, there's an extended period of time, but mm -hmm. the holiday fireworks for this holiday period has already begun, began this past Saturday, but it'll continue all the way through July 5th that approved consumer grade fireworks can be used from 11 a.m. to 11.45 p.m. They have to be used on your personal property. I think a mistake that a lot of people think it's Correct. okay to go out into a street or a neighborhood park or a school property to use right. their fireworks. That's incorrect. Those would be violations of our ordinance and the police will respond to those kind of complaints. I always think there's always a particularly during the warmer summer months, anytime uh, there's fireworks being used, there's a potential for, uh, if they're not paying attention, that the fireworks can land in a dry grass area or field and initiate a, a fire. We get those several times a year. Uh, and of course, I think there's always the uh, personal safety aspects. Already this season, you've seen some very sad stories about people being injured, even and particularly children, during and being closely yes. associated to the use of fireworks or the handling of fireworks. So that always needs to be very careful. After you use the fireworks, proper cleanup and disposal is important. Uh, you'll see a number of runs uh, during the year where people think, oh, they're already probably uh, cool enough to place in a trash receptacle. And it turns out that they're not. And, and you'll see a, a fire, potentially even a potential connective uh, structure fire associated with those incidents. So be very careful. Make sure your fireworks are completely extinguished. Adult supervision is always required in all these things. You have to be mm -hmm. an adult, 18 or use these fireworks. They're not suitable for smaller children. And I think just good common sense, good parental oversight will have allow everyone to have a, the appropriate fun during the holiday period, but also have it be a safe, safe experience. Wise words from another trusted authority in public safety right here in West Bloomfield. Chief, we appreciate your time. Last thing, any additional words, advice, tips for people, even visitors traveling around a greater West Bloomfield area during the holiday season with everything going on? Buckle up for safety. Don't drink and drive. Consider your time. The life you save may be your own. And have a happy holiday. Mm. Yeah. I, I couldn't have said it better myself, Chief best place to land a plane right now thank you again west bloomfield police chief mike Patton, joining us again on the splash live talking about holiday travel and safety thank you again for your time sir
My pleasure. Thank you.